Hi everybody and welcome to a screencast of uh, High School Ministry Small Groups Attendance Software. My name is Josh. I am the high school pastor and I hang out with Chip. Hey gang, how you doing? Well, I think they're doing great. They actually can't, they can't <laughs> respond to us, just so you know. Uh, I'm really excited because Chip and I are sitting here in front of a uh, computer and we're about to demonstrate the power of our new attendance software. You've probably learned about it at a small group leader training, but we thought having a little web video would be cool too. So, um, so basically what happens is, is your small group night is over. And uh, we'd like the, every HSM small group leader to turn in their attendance reports. And so rather than paper or postcards or texting you, we've come up with, a, I think, a pretty ingenious system to make all this happen. So the heart behind it is, is as students fall through the cracks, you know, they could, uh, we could lose an opportunity to pastor them. If a student isn't attending your small group, we want to know about it. And one of the easiest ways is to stay in good communication with you, the people who are doing great ministry in the trenches. So first of all, thank you for being a small group leader. And two, thank you for taking the time every week to uh, make sure that your attendance report is in so that we can um, do our best to go after the students, help them grow spiritually, the ones that God has entrusted with us. So. Great idea. It's also an amazing tool to just love the kids in your group. Uh, it reminds you to email the kids every week and just let them know, hey, this is what we're praying about, and uh, let them know that you care about it. Absolutely. Well, the tool that we've come up with is actually really easy because there's no passwords that you need to remember, and it actually just shows up uh, in your email box. So on the screencast, we actually have a demonstration. This is Chip's um, email box, and we've uh, been sent a reminder. So tell us what's going on in this uh, weekly email we're going to get. Well, you're going to get this email, and what it's going to do, it's just a reminder uh, to, um, to take attendance for your small group. Okay. And you're going to have three options here. Uh, the first option is, hey, we met this week. Second option is, we did not meet this week. And finally, um, I need to upgrade our group information. We're going to start with we met this week, so let me just click on that. All right, it brings you to a screen that looks like this. And so each person, uh, each small group leader, their group would be different. So in this case, you've got a group called the Griffin Group. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> and uh, you know, if your you know your group is meeting, let's say you're in Ladera Ranch, and so the Ladera Ranch group comes up. Um, so everyone has their own specific page that their email would link to, and this just popped up automatically. There's no uh, passwords. There's no usernames. The system knows whoever got this email has the rights to access um, this particular page. So tell us what we're seeing here on this screen. Well, Josh, what it has here is it's got everybody that's in uh, your small group. And it's going to automatically assume that they were all present at your small group. We're a little bit idealistic, maybe. We know that's not going to happen. <laughs> but at least they're there and uh, thinking positively. There you go. <laughs> and what this does is all you need to do is just run down here and click off who wasn't at your small group. Right, so Zach missed this week, and Jamie missed this week, and obviously um, Rick Warren, he didn't miss, because he never, you know, he... Oh, missed. he's there uh, almost, almost every time. Absolutely. He doesn't miss, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, but, but Ryan missed too, so we'll uncheck her name. So the rest of the people that are checked, um, those people um, were in attendance, and so we've actually typed in a note now below as well. So I just wrote a simple note there from Chip saying, hey, we had a great night, you guys are the best. Don't forget to bring a funny story about love next week. Go to church. We'll talk about the message first thing. See ya. So now what happens in this, this top space right here? This top space, uh, whatever you write in here, actually goes to every member of your small group. It goes to the people that were in attendance, and it also goes to the high school kids that weren't there. So this is a great opportunity just to let the kids know that you care about them and to let them know, hey, maybe this is what we're going to talk about next week. Cool. Or, and, and that kind of thing. So when you're submitting your attendance information, which goes to you know the, the main profile for high school ministry, it's also automatically sending out these emails to your, to your uh, students. Yeah, it's just a great way to be in contact with them every single week to let them know that you love them and uh, give them more information about what's going on next week. Cool. What's in the second box? It says prayer requests. Yeah, right here, it's a, an opportunity just to kind of keep track of the prayer requests you have for your small group. Um, and we wrote a couple things here. Uh, John's mom is sick. Or grades for Bill. Yeah, Bill's a terrible student. That's what we hear. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely do need to pray for Bill and for John's mom. So you can see that uh, the from on the email address is coming from Chip, from your email that's there. Now, it's going to also send some information to other people. Who? What else is going on there? What it's going to do is this information is going to also go to the coach. Every small group leader is going to have a coach, somebody that can just encourage them, kind of be there for them to help them uh, uh, kind of care for their small group. And whatever uh, whatever's written in here, uh, not only will it go to all the kids in your small group, but it will also go to your coach. 
and, uh, and so that the coach can look at that and maybe see if you have any needs. So it's a great tool, really, to be in contact with the, the, the office team, some of the adults that are here working on, on the staff, so be in constant communication with them, but also being in touch with your student. So when you push save and send meeting information, it's actually going to bring up a little warning and say, hey, just so you know, you've selected this to go to everybody in your group. So if you want to send something to the leader only, you check this radio button, and then you can send it just to your coach, just to Jason, um, or the small group leaders. Um, so it's just warning you, hey, you've selected everybody so you don't make a mistake there and send some private information from your small group you know, to your small group. Yeah. So great. We'll go back to your, um, your Outlook here, and you're back at your web. Uh, the email that the system automatically sent you the night of your small group. And the other option here is we did not meet this week. Yeah, let's go ahead and let me just click on that and show you what happens. Yeah, so from time to time we understand that you know a small group isn't going to meet for a couple of reasons. We actually listed one here um, in the notes section. So tell us what's going on on this page. What it does is from time to time, like Josh said, you guys might not meet. Something came up or uh, there's an, a big event or whatever at school and the kids weren't able to get together. Just write down here, um, uh, Just it, it's an opportunity to write a little note to your kids and maybe explain, hey, why we didn't meet this week. And what we'll do is, cool. uh, and you also just click save and send. And that'll send uh, what's here in this area to every kid in your small group. And it'll also kind of send that note to your coach. So your coach can kind of know what went on with you guys. Cool. So we're really trying to establish a active relationship with our students, but also with um, our coach and with our office team. We want to just build a lot of synergy so we know what's happening in every small group in addition to attendance. It's, it's far more important for us to know what's happening and how things are going than just the numbers of students that you're getting. I mean, I think there's some interesting things, reports, and you can know who's attending and how many guys versus girls and what grades are we seeing a lot of success in. But at the end of the day, we want to care for students, and we believe this tool opens up that door. Yeah, we also want to know if there's a specific prayer request. Maybe something's going on with one of your kids, or frankly, maybe something's going on with you. And you can write that, Absolutely. and and that information will get back to us, so we can uh, call you up, uh, pray for you, and kind of know what's going on. Very good. Let's do one last section here. I need to update our group information. Now, you're going to be given um, this group information in the system automatically when you first begin. But let's say that you add a new member. You just simply click this tab and type in their information, and then they'll be on your reports from now on. Um, from time to time, you might need to remove, remove a member, but honestly, I'd leave that up to the office team and let them handle that. Yeah. Um, but let's say we're going to add a new member. Um, there's, we don't want to modify an existing one. We add a member who's not on the list. And we'll just type in um, J is his name, and we'll just throw in a name of Smith. And I, I think it requires a little bit of information, so let's just put in some dummy information for now. He was born in the 2000s. <laughs> He's a member, and we're not sure we think he is a boy. All right, we're going to hit save information. And then you'll notice that immediately J has been added to our roster. J Smith is now a member. His information's in there. Um, you can update anyone's information at any time. Uh, I think just going to be a really, really great way so that we know who's there and who's not. But it just gives you a great chance to communicate with students and communicate with your coach. Yeah. All right. Well, we hope you use the tool. Thank you for watching the Chip and Josh show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the phone here. We could be famous. All right. Thanks for watching, and hope you have a great small group year. We're praying for you every week, and we trust this new tool will help you be an even better minister to students. Thanks. Thanks a lot.